global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Many thanks for keeping fit with us. We have two uh, one two sides to a con really of the same news uh, where the issue of uh, Chicago State University the updated version what is going on what um, the lawyers of Obola Metinubu is saying concerning the issue of the release of his result and what uh, PDP articles media president is also saying his legal team are also saying and this is the updated version I'm going to give you all of this put into one before we do that kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you say bell notification Icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. But the president, Bala Metinubu, has urged the United States District Court uh, for the Northern District of Illinois, uh, the Easter. Easter Division to reverse the order asking the Chicago State University CSU to release his um, academic records to a political opponent at the back of the People's Democratic Party. Now, Tinubu, who argued that Magistrate Jeffrey Gilbert, who gave the order on September 19 in a ruling on an application by Article exercised the power he did not have under the Section 1782 of the United States state statute and pray the court to reject articles application. Now, this form part of Tinebo's argument in his reply to articles response to his objection to the ex execution of the order made by Magistrate Gilbert in application for discovery filed by article. Now, in the reply filed by his lawyer, Christopher Kamaika Tinubu contended that the magistrate erred in granting the application and ordering Chicago State University to comply with the subpoenas for the document and the deposition that the ruling should be set aside and application denied. He argued that article was uh, merely on a fishing expedition because the document he is seeking from the CSU that Chicago State University can no longer be admitted at the current state of the appeal um, he filed at the Supreme Court because the presidential election petition called PEPC has deemed them inadmissible. Of course, uh, that's the version of uh, Bola Metinubu's lawyer. And uh, let's hear what um, Atika Bubaka's uh, lawyer said concerning this matter. And of course, uh, what his media person is saying that the People's Democratic Party has asked the All Progressive Congress to tell Nigerians the truth about what is called the desperation by President Bola Tinubu's lawyers in the United States to cancel vital details regarding the academic records of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu at the Chicago State University CSU from the public. And the PDP noted that the application by the lawyers urging the U.S. District Court of Illinois not to release the said academic de details were at variance with the public declaration by President Tunubu that his academic records are impeccable. Now, National Publicity Secretary of the party, that's Debo Olugunogba in Olugunogba, in a statement in Abuja, said that the PDP recalls that President Tunubu had in a, in a public function openly asserted to Nigerians that, I quote him, I was one of those most recruited graduates of my university, multiple honors, first class degree, and I have the reference point. He further said, and I quote him, in view of the above assertion, the PDP therefore holds that the plea by the lawyers of Bola Metinubu that the details of his academic record should not be released is a great disservice to both President Bola Metinubu in particular and Nigerians in general. The desperation to cancel viral information is consistent with APC's penchant for trickery and underhand dealings in their transactions with Nigerians which has heightened under the Abdullahi Ganduje leadership. By appointing Dr. Ganduje as its national chairman, despite the maladorous corruption and bribery allegations against him in the public domain, the APC further confirms itself as not only being a cesspit of corruption, but also as irredeemably given to cancelment and condonment of depravity, slaves and mendacious art. Mm. 
the opposition party described as curious the silence within APC on the allegations and public apprehension of sabotage on the Monday, September 25th, 2023 fire outbreak at the Supreme Court, which is suspected to have been an arsonist attack with the intent to cripple the and frustrate the Supreme Court in the handling of the presidential election appeals pending before it. Ulubu Nogba said, and I quote, the APC must, in the least, acknowledge the desirability, the desirability and moral duty placed on it to encourage, insist, and even ensure that it is transparent with Nigerians and indeed the world. Failure to discharge this duty to Nigerians is condemnable. Now, the litany of probes, inquiries, and investigations which were instituted on various matters without report under APC since 2015 validates the above. It is clear that APC is a major threat to our, nation, to our nation's democracy. The PDP calls on all men of goodwill across our country and beyond to stand firm in the defense of democracy, transparency, and the rule of law in Nigeria, especially at this critical time. This is coming from Ulugunogba, uh, one of the media presses, uh, the National Publicity Secretary, I guess, and to make matters interesting, they also said why the cancelling of uh, concealing of results and why you're trying to you know hide some parts and that release all, quoting him as saying. He's one of the best people that ever came out. I think they usually quote him that he has first class and, you know, and all that. That is a thing of fact. They feel that it's a disservice that they don't make it public. If you check our playlist, you get to see where Peter Obi said, look, this issue of leadership, nobody's saying anybody's a saying, but let's know who you are, where you come from. Your where you your father, your mother, your siblings, your classmates, and even that he has always said that he had gotten certificates in some of these prestigious university. And you always tell people, Don't ask me, and I will not give you any court injunction. It will tell you, go and verify, bring it public, make it known. So that's where leadership comes from. It comes with transparency. It comes with accountability. He said, nobody said there are no talents in the world. There are talents in the world. There are myriads and myriads of talents, both in Nigeria and across the globe. But he's saying the character, you know, the personality, the transparency is what makes the difference. We need to know who we're dealing with. I'm only quoting Peter will be here. And he didn't mention names. And the same in the, in the very tactical to manner to Ulugu not by saying the same thing. Ah, ah. They said the president has gotten some lofty degree certificate, first class, and this and that. It's a case of the service. If you do not make it public, why are we hiding some of these things? Although the way they are going about it, I do not know why this whole thing is this whole thing is you know becoming an issue. But this is just my personal opinion. I stand to be corrected, though, okay? And I'm also not um, a spiritist student. But I feel that Bola Matunubu did. He attended that university. He's too sound upstairs. Forget the age now. He's too sound upstairs not to have gone to such, uh, to, to, to have gone to four walls of a university. But why he's doing what he's doing is really up to, or why he decided to go through, or his legal team decided to go through that route is really up to them. They have asked for them to, you know, decide and explain. Let's go and wrap it up. Let's meet in that conversation.